Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we're gonna pretend like we didn't lose that last fight and that they didn't sneak that fort for me and that they don't have 50 spy network against me. Uh, none of those things are true, but it's fine. We're gonna pretend, like I said. They have super fast siege ability. Their siege chicks are 18 days because they've got 100% spy network, which is a real problem. Um, we're suffering a lot of attrition in our own lands because the army is too big for the territory that we're in. We do have defender's advantage though, like morale recovery wise and stuff, reinforcement speed wise. I think we might just come down into strangers and then go to Karbala. Um, honestly, I still don't think we should take Defender of the Faith. Like, yeah, that 5% morale might make a difference in one battle, but we were close enough anyway. Like, I just need a little bit of time to reinforce in defensive terrain, and I think that we win. Especially if we can knock out smaller stacks independently. Like, oh god, and if he moves into my mountains, then he is done. These guys are all gone by the 25th. That stack can be overrun basically for free if we come in on the 27th or so. Sounds good. Let's go do that. Kill the Funge army. Apparently they still want to come and fight in flat terrain. I mean, at this point I would prefer to fight in defensive terrain, but... Hopefully cav ratio is not off. We suffered casualties pretty ev evenly, so we should be okay. All right, cross your fingers. This is uh, this is where either the defender's advantage is significant enough uh, due to reinforcement speed and morale army morale of army's recovery speed that we we kick his butt, or he continues to pile in with mercs and reinforcements and stuff, and we lose again. I think we're gonna be okay. I say. Hopefully not jinxing it. Here comes Funge again. Damn, they, they reinforced so well, but we did win! 5.6 something more score. Screw you, Funge. Stupid Funge. Loser head. Meanwhile, Joe's desert shithole keeps on getting siege. Like you do. Oh, they only retreated to here. I thought they had retreated further. Um, it makes sense, though, that they didn't get routed. Oh, insufficient support penalty. That's no good. We gotta retreat from this. And we got routed. Alright, if we're routed, we gotta fall back. Don't worry. Muscovy is preparing to declare war upon us. We must rush to prepare our defenses. The malevolent personality of Vasily III is likely why we learnt of this. Oh, goody. Yep, okay. Um, he just wants the one province. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're going to be making a lot of money soon. You know why? Because we're going to win against both these people, because we're just going to. That's just what we're going to do. It's fine. I'm not scared. I do think we're going to have to train more dudes just so that we actually have an army to use. It's not so much that I like need that many men. I just need the reinforcement capacity for it. They get a 15 due to him controlling the Wargle. I could just, like, white peace with the Mamux, actually, if we want to focus on Muscovy. God, these siege ticks, man. 18 days is rough.
No, oh, come on. 50, but I, it was a 55 day siege. Are you serious? Muscovy. Or Mamluks, rather. Screw you. Just screw you and... Oh, they're threatening war. It's fine. Way, way easier. Sure. Much better. <laughs> Easy. Of course I'll accept a threat. Like, no way. I'm not going to fight you for one damn province. But, but the money? Yeah, but now we get to go to town on the Mamluks and not worry about the north at all. I think it's always, always correct there to take, to just say yes. You, I lost one province for six develop, who cares? Six development out of 600, lose 1% of our territory. Like, no question. Why not sell the province? You can't sell provinces while you're at war. Crap. Of course, of course, I somehow managed to leave an army behind without a leader. I get for trying to read chat. Trying to read Chad. Chad the chat guy. Goodbye you. Hey, we have negative war score because of the occupied forts and stuff, but relative strength of the alliance, like, the Mamluks are tapped. They are apparently doing great on manpower, but I think economically we've got them beat. We make more money. I bet they have debt. Yeah, they've got three loans. We have no loans and a thousand, bucket, a thousand buckets of ducats in the bank. He's tapped. Maybe not manpower-wise, but economically, he's... He's out. Army heading into Big Daddy. We need a fort in Erzurzum. In fact, I'm gonna just build it now, because I want it. I don't care that it's expensive. I still only have the one artillery. Um, we could, we could barrage our own lands if we had more artillery, but that's gonna slow down the idea group and I need to like get caught up on tech. We do have a spy network that gives us this discount. Um, try to get more spy network actually for that purpose. Problems of Boaz is under siege. Another, okay, that's a mountain fort. Now he has definitely made a mistake. He'll either break the siege to come salvage the... to save the five troops. Or we overrun the five troops. We get to defend in the river. Behind the river in the mountains. Or... We'll see. He'll be there on the 11th of March. We're getting there on the 2nd. So we've got like eight days to kill five troops. A 1-3-1 one, one comp. I think we'll be okay. I hope so. Otherwise that's that fight's gonna suck. That's not a good sign. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. By one day? Well, I got him to break the siege. It's only a negative two penalty. And most of the army just retreated, so I guess it's fine. F off, Mamlux. I'm not piecing out.
He doesn't have enough war score to actually force anything. I could just get Joe's Desert Shithole back and maybe, I don't know, possibly catch him. Catch him spying on me, that'd be really uh, really nice. Um, may I mean maybe, a little bit, possibly. Thank you. That really opens things up. You are boned now, Mamlux. Keep on powering through the ideas. Um, not gonna take tech yet. Our power projection has slipped. We've got no insults. Do we have a truce with uh, anyone? Can I just insult maybe Poland right now? We don't have positive prestige for a scornful insult. Damn. Well, as soon as we win this war, we will. Feeling good, feeling good. We've got him on the back foot. So Cassian Separatists are mad about something. I don't know what. I don't know why. Why are you gonna be so upset? War exhaustion, separatism. Can't raise autonomy here. Blah. Whiner. Whiners! Okay, we can either get three, six more calf for free or take the calf combat ability. Um, I don't think we want the manpower recovery ratio. I, I would just like the calf combat ability. I'm just gonna turn it on now. That's still a 46 stack, so. Can reinforce on the 26th. Can we fight? Can we survive for 13 more days? Um, I think we need to. We should just stick with it. It's gonna be a tough fight, but we get routed. We do get routed right before, right before we could arrive. Wow. Gotta give it to the Mamluks, they are putting everything they've got into it. Fourteen forty-four. Okay, I'm gonna send the more damage stack over there with preferably our Iskander guy. We only need, I think, six troops right now. Need to get the war goal. I hope that he didn't just stop being a valid rival because he is too strong for me. Yeah, he didn't. We 
Eclipsed him. Excellent. We actually get some power projection now. That's a great sign. Okay. Uh, yeah. Permanent CB against neighboring heathens and heretics and missionary maintenance minus 50%. Sure. Sounds good. Take it. He's on the back foot. We got him. We got him. Slacking? Uh, oh, great. Rebels. Aren't you glad we don't have to fight Muscovy right now? We are totally tapped on manpower for the most part again. Let's, yeah, we slack it again. We, we basically just go down to 0%. It's fine. Deus Volt. Yeah, it's time. Those guys are going to cause lots of problems up north, but can't really do anything about it. I can't catch this guy spying on me. Does he have espionage? No, I'm just... How does he have 45% revanchism? Jesus. Seems outrageous. He's got a crazy siege ability against us, and I can't seem to catch him spying. I mean... Ottomans beat him in a war? Yeah, but he lost like two provinces. That I mean two provinces? That's that's not that much revanchism. That's insane. If I lost two provinces, do you think I would get that much revanchism? I don't think so. I am leaning toward just engaging him now. I, I have positive war score, so we have one if we want. But I can't demand anything until we take at least Damascus. Lovely to see him suffering 5% attrition with his whole army. We got him beat on income. We have no loans. He's got four loans. He had 40,000 manpower. He still has 38,000 manpower. Uh, I just want to point out why he has so much manpower, by the way. The AI is, when they are not, like, suffering economically, they are now much, much better at edict usage. So, like, look at the Ottomans. He's running manpower and trade. Um, Lithuania has on manpower everywhere, like, when they have less than 50% manpower max, they run the Edict. It makes them not murk up, it makes them much stronger. It's like we're doing this, huh? You wanna fight? Alright, I'll fight you. Fight you in real life. Goddamn pop-ups in the middle of a battle. He still got me beat on morale and discipline, and we're rolling zeros. Wow. And that's a good roll for me-ish, but we're already losing. Man, dice rolls. Keep in mind, though, I'm not in debt, and he is. And he's got 28,000 manpower to our 46,000. Uh, he might have professionalism, and I think that they do actively still, like, slacken. He's down to no professionalism as well. That might be why he has manpower, because he's slacking down. He's gonna power through these forts. Look at this guy's siege ability. 11-day siege ticks, because I can't catch him spying. Wow. Impressive. He's even assaulting, as well. Did Revanchism from Caraman make Mummy strong? Yeah. That must be why he got so much. Yeah, I bet instead of separate piecing the Mamluks, Ottomans probably 
negotiated with Caraman, and that's why he only took, like, one province. He took Aleppo. And that somehow gives revanchism to the Mamluks as well, even though they weren't the one that lost the land. I think I just sit on these two things. We take the Wargold back. Um, he's got me just so beat on Siege ability. I'm running defensiveness and he's got 19, 19 days ticks. This is fantastic. It's like a, against a player. That's kind of the goal. He wants to just keep on taking these fights, man. It's so hard. All right, I don't think we consolidate. I want to max out our reinforcement speed. It's so close to equal that if we don't roll well right now, I, I'm going to be really upset. Come on, roll well. At least roll adequately. Come on. Did 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 we do it? Did did we did we did it? We did it. We didn't roll bad. Great. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh yeah, excellent. Those were some good rolls. That army goes there. The artillery goes that way. Kids are not playing nicely. Rebels, meanwhile, are causing some serious problems. Defender of the Faith is 5% morale of armies. We already have him beat on morale. We Going up 5% right now is 0.15 more morale. It's not going to be enough to make us suddenly win morale of armies like stack wipes or anything. It's I don't think it's worth the money. And it's also not really worth the risk. We just probably get pulled into wars we can't handle right now. There are other Shia countries, and it's going to affect tech. Um, no, I'm, I'm fine with not. War exhaustion, it's a little getting, yeah, it's getting a little high. 6.99. Uh, Mamluks have 5.5 as well. They have murked up now. They're down to 11,000 manpower. Our income is still beating him by about 15. Still only has the four loans. But his treasury is super small, so he's about to take another loan, I think. Nice. Got that siege back pretty fast. And we have the war goal. Battle on the first. He's coming in with a 4-4-2. Which means we get the defender's advantage. We get this this stack gets to reinforce for one tick. That river crossing might make the difference. Nice zero for him. Oh, beautiful. Negative one. No nines. Bad. Bad rolls. Uh, insufficient support's not ideal, but we rolled a nine in the shock. And a nine in the fire. Gotcha. I really need time to reinforce. I, I want it, I need to take this next fort, but I've got to just back off to our own land so we can reinforce quickly enough. We just don't reinforce fast enough in hostile terrain right now to justify moving into his land. 25 war score and I can't demand a single province because there's no sieged fort. When did this war start? In 1517. So it's been eight years. <laughs> it's been a big, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. We got him. He's tapped. <laughs> He's totally tapped. I swear. Uh, he's now at six loans. And we still have none, with 400, uh, 600 gold left in the treasury. We're fine. We've got like 20,000 spare manpower. Whoa. That's unusual. Denmark actually integrated Sweden. Sick. Prestige is really good for us. War score cost versus other religions. I can't recall if this applies to heretics. I think it does. 
But prestige is morale of armies. Does? If it does, then I think we want it, but I, I'd really like the prestige as well. Seven war exhaustion? What are you talking about? We got 97 tradition? That, that's fine. We like war exhaustion. War exhaustion is good for us. We just need to get our cav ratio situation sorted out. Do we have the time to double back and take care of this? I'm worried these Circassians are going to actually break free if I don't send something up north, but if I... I got four years, basically, to go deal with it. If I send half the army up north, Mamluks probably beat me in the next fight. He's still got 40,000 troops with 10,000 artillery. Like, he's not done. He won't bow out. Bastard. Ah, oh, hmm. All right, let's, let's think about this for a second. We have seven war exhaustion. We could win. But at what cost? If we peace out now, we can't demand land, but we can take money and war reps. If we take money and war reps and push him deeper into debt, we have the institution. He does not. That means the next time we fight him, we will have even more of a tech advantage than we do now. We will have more ideas. We will have more cav ratio, cheaper cavalry, cheaper, like more cav combat ability. Everything will be better for us. And we're not really hurting yet economically. He is. I, I feel like we should actually peace out. Do the siege, but the course. Land is, you guys, over. <laughs> but the clay. But think about the clay. Yeah, but think about the. Putting him so deeply into debt that he can't um, crawl out of the hole. Paint the map. Gold over clay. <laughs> oh wait, that's the right one. I'm gonna go pressure Damascus, but I, I'm really leaning towards piecing out. The sooner we piece out, the sooner the war exhaustion goes down, the sooner everything that I want happens. Uh oh, I hope that other stack isn't nearby. Currently 12 reasons away from him accepting peace. I mean, if we stack wipe this thing, then all bets are off. Depends on when he arrives. We've got eight days left to stack wipe it. He arrives on the 19th. Can we do it? Insufficient support. We cannot do it. See, this is bad. We have the war goal. I don't think it's worth it. It's the insufficient support. That's why I want to wait until we have two more military ideas. Cav to infantry ratio. Like, I want to fight him then. We see the casualties first? Sure. 167,000 dead on our side, 243,000 dead on their side. They've lost 26,000 to attrition. Um, more importantly to me, though, is their current state economically. Six loans in debt. When you compare... Uh, I mean, we have more development than they do now, but... Like, they are really hurting economically. We have 50% more income than they do, roughly, and they're the ones in debt. And I can just pressure that, push it further. I'm doing it. I'm out. I want to go deal with the rebels. I want to... Come back when we have the idea group. We, we, <laughs> oh my, <laughs> plus two babby, OMG is now in charge. And we have a dead baby. Whoopsie. He fell through the floor into not heaven. New infantry weapons are unpopular. Um, technical enforcement, gaining combat ability, or we could take morale of army. Well, this would have been great a second ago. Game. Might have even made a difference. Alright. If you're watching this on YouTube, I gotta take a break here. If you're watching this on Twitch, stick around. I'll be back in the next episode. Whatever. Re reverse it. Blah, blah, blah. See you again soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.